Hello guys! Today we will learn how to use Gaussian elimination method on the example given on the board. Here we have the system of three equations. First, let's consider a matrix of given system. The matrix of coefficients looks like this. In the first row we have 2, negative 1 and 3. In the second row, negative 3, 2 and 1. And the third row, negative 4, 2 and negative 6. The vector of three terms is 4, 5, and 1, and the vector of unknowns is x1, x2, and x3. As we can see, we have non-zero three terms, so our system is not homogeneous, and we will perform operations with the augmented matrix. Let's write this matrix. In the first row we have 2, negative 1, 3, and the free term 4. In the second row, negative 3, 2, 1, and 5. And in the third row, negative 4, 2, negative 6, and 1. Now we intend to represent this matrix in the triangular form, which means that we must represent the matrix of coefficients in the following way. We must have ones on the main diagonal, zeros below it, and some values above it. Before we start, recall that we can swap rows, add or subtract them, Multiply or divide them by real non-zero numbers. So our first step. We need to get 1 over here on the main diagonal. To do this, we will divide the first row by 2. So we get 1, negative 1 half, 3 halves, and don't forget the free term, 4 divided by 2 gives us 2. And the second and third row without changes. Negative 3, 2, 1, 5, and negative 4, 2, negative 6, and 1. Now we need to eliminate x1 from all the equations except the first one. Let's begin with the second equation. To eliminate x1 we need to multiply the first row by 3 and add it to the second row. So we obtain the following. First row without changes, 1, negative 1 half, 3 halves, and 2. Now the second row, 1 times 3 minus 3 gives us 0. Negative 1 half times 3 is negative 3 halves, plus 2 gives us 1 half. 3 halves times 3 is 9 halves, plus 1 equals 11 halves. And 2 times 3 is 6, plus 5 equals 11. And the third row without changes. Negative 4, 2, negative 6, and 1. Now we will multiply the second row by 2 to obtain 1 over here on the main diagonal. So the first row is 1, negative 1 half, 3 halves, and 2. Second row multiplied by 2 is 0, 1, 11, and 22. And the third row is negative 4, 2, negative 6, and 1. Now we will perform the same operations for the third row. To eliminate x1, we will multiply the first row by 4 and add it to the third row. So this is the result. First row without changes, 1, negative 1 half, 3 halves, and 2. Second row, 0, 1, 11, and 22. And now the third row, 1 times 4 equals 4, minus 4 gives us 0. Negative 1 half times 4 is negative 2, plus 2 also 0. 3 halves times 4 is 6, minus 6 also 0, 
and 2 times 4 is 8, plus 1 equals 9. Now let's have a closer look at the matrix we obtained. In the third row we have all zeros except the three terms. So this is actually the equation 0 equals 9. And this is obviously wrong. So this system has no solutions and such systems are called inconsistent systems.